So those of you that know me know I absolutely hate to video while I'm in the car, but such is life. Look at this, 106. Can you guys see that? It is 106 degrees outside. It is ridiculously hot. So that's why I'm starting this video off in my car. Today I thought I would do a little evening photography and go out to this really cool spot that we went for my birthday a few videos back. First I gotta go by Best Buy and pick up a new toy that I just got. Then we'll head over there and get some, some photos going and check out just the sunset and the scenery. It's a really cool spot. Let's go run by Best Buy first and then we'll get going. Wireless go to whatever the hell it's called. Uh, I'll be interested to uh, try these out soon. Not going to use them tonight, obviously, because I need to uh, you know, get them all set up and everything. I've been wanting to get uh, kind of more of a mobile mic for a while now. Let's go to the hiking bike now. started the YouTube stuff I, it was because I loved shooting video and creating video and it was so much fun I loved going in and editing the video color correcting and color grading editing the video and sequencing the video and I just loved it I, I had so much fun I I spent countless hours just trying to perfect how I can make the video look the best and it, it was just so much fun but I was not good at like talking to the camera I still don't think I'm like the best at talking to the camera but I feel like I've gotten better at it I used to get really really um, embarrassed and self-conscious uh, about the fact that I made YouTube content and videos and recorded made vlogs even though I really loved it and really am passionate about it and love doing it I would just feel like god I'm such a dork or a loser it's so embarrassing like I'm so narcissistic because a lot of people think like if you shoot vlogs or you tape yourself you're a narcissist and that's not true at all I was just so embarrassed and like I didn't want to tell anybody or share it with anybody and I'd upload it to YouTube it, it was it was that way for like the first year and I, I'm a couple of years in now creating content and shooting videos and now I've just had to tell myself that I just don't give a shit anymore. There's always going to be somebody that's going to make fun of you or criticize you or just hate on you for whatever reason, you know. And it's easy to kind of feel embarrassed or whatnot. But it was a, it, I was getting so anxious and like I was so ashamed that I liked creating YouTube videos and all of the, the stereotypes that were going to go along with that that it caused me so much anxiety and, and I 
like would dread almost shooting video because I was like so embarrassed who's watching, you know, who's gonna see it. Now I've gotten to a point where I, I just don't give a shit anymore. I, I don't care. And I, I wanna encourage you guys that not just with like shooting video or YouTube, but just in life, like it's okay to, to love the things that you love to do. It's okay if you wanna be a nerd and nerd out over cell phones. It's okay if you wanna nerd out over cameras, which I do. It's okay if you wanna nerd out over comic books and, and Pokemon cards, sports, food. If you love doing something, it's easier said than done, but just fuck everybody else. Like, that's the best way I could put it. It's just if you love, you know, creating YouTube videos, just fuck everybody else. People are going to make fun of you. People may criticize you, make jokes about you. But fuck those people, man. If you love race car driving, if you love you know, coloring books. I mean, whatever it is, just do it and love it because that is what makes you truly happy. And if other people make fun of you or criticize you about it, just fuck those people. Just go and shoot and and have fun and create it if it's what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. This sounds like a self-help motivational video. It's not. I just really wanted to share that with you guys. Now that the sun is setting, it's so gorgeous out here. I want to take some photos for the Instagram uh, but just look at this view I mean it's it's so That's it for photos. It's getting pretty dark out of here, so I'm gonna go ahead and start walking back to the car because I kind of have a little bit of a walk. So let's get out of here before it gets pitch black. Bye, beautiful sunset. You're awesome. Now to make the long trek. Back to the car before it gets too dark. Also, real quick, because I'm so confused, I still don't understand how the mosquitoes did not destroy me. So I'm thinking maybe it's even too hot for them. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, up on that hill back over there, there was like a big breeze. So one, I don't know how the audio is gonna sound on this, and two, it kind of helped to where it wasn't like just so brutally hot. You guys hear me talk about how hot it is in my videos all the time, and I probably sound like a huge pussy, but it's just because it's so fucking hot here, man. It's just next level. We don't have seasons. We have hot for 10 months, and then we have cool and cold for like two. Texas life, baby.